Now, if you're a serious uh, ornamental grass collector, then this is one type of grass that you must get hold of, and it's called uh, Melinia. Now, Melinia, believe it or not, is uh, native to the UK uh, and many other countries, but it's, it's native to the UK. Uh, and this one is called Winchspiel, and it means wind play. And as you can see, that's exactly what it's doing, playing in the wind. And it's superb. From the word go, it produces a really deep green leaf to start with that starts turning this yellowy colour as it gets through the season. But it produces lovely, lovely seed heads that dance around like that. Now, this particular one uh, is Melinia carulia, and it's a subspecies called Arundinacea windspiel. So anything that's Melinia that has the word Arundinacea will mean it's a taller variety. If it only has Melinia carulia, it'll mean it probably only gets to a couple of foot or just above. But if you're a serious grass collector, you must get hold of at least one of these plants. I have several in, up here at Grassy Bottom. Uh, we'll show you another one in a second, but this one here is probably amongst my favourites. It's very early. It's the tallest I've got at the moment. I've got two other tall varieties that are in a different part of the garden. And they're not as tall as this because they get less water. And that's just due to the bed that they're in, the uh, border that they're actually sat in. Because every border here has different conditions. So let's take you to another one. Now this next one is a slightly smaller, but nevertheless, it's still a Rundanacea in variety. And it's, it's a bit of a stunner, to be honest. Now, let's just separate the actual seed heads, because they do have this tendency to, to wrap themselves up like this. But this one is uh, more splaying, as you can see from there. And it, it still dances around. Uh, this is in my grass border, doing its thing now. And once the wind catches them, because the seed heads are so heavy, that's what causes them to dance around. Now, the difference with this one is that it has this, if we can show it on here, it has a darker seed head than the one I've just shown. And it has an olive green brown stem to it as well as it, as it develops. And it's probably not coming out so great on this video, but there you go. You can see it's more brown. Seed heads are heavy, dances around, as I've said, and it looks great. And this one's actually called uh, Melinia Pont de Say, found near a bridge in France, and I believed it was named after that very bridge, Pont de Say. So that's really good. So if you're going to get anything, as far as millennias are concerned, then try and get hold of uh, Winchspiel as a taller variety. And then if you can get hold of this variety, it would be a good move as well, because it's beautiful. It's only downside i think is that it splays out a little bit much it, it goes onto the lawn here but i don't mind that I, I just simply brush past it when i'm cutting the lawn so it ain't a problem for it it will bounce around now the good thing about millennias and we'll go back to the other one go back to windspiel the good thing about millennias is that they don't require a lot of attention as autumn approaches all millennias will turn a lovely butter yellow some better than others this one does it quite well. Uh, it's starting to turn yellow in its leaf now, but that's simply because of the droughting situation we've been in. Um, but it will get even better than that as it approaches autumn. These dancing seed heads on the stems will stiffen up and they'll go more upright and they'll turn butter yellow. And then when the time's right, they will simply snap off and that's it that's your lot so you hope for or i hope for quite a few uh, breezy autumn days once it gets to the point where it's done its thing it's one of very few grasses that you don't really have to bother with and what it basically does is it as i said it will all just drop you'll come out one day it'll have been beautiful the day before you'll come out one day and it'll just be gone it'll all be on the deck so that one there's millennia windspiel i think it means wind dance or wind play as I said earlier not sure uh, I think it's a German variety and it is a it's a true beauty now when that's done when it has dropped to the ground you simply clear away all the mess and then at the base of it you will find that it's already starting to have little stubby growth that won't do anything it'll just sit there till spring approaches and once spring kicks in those grasses will start to grow quite quickly 
Now it's got quite a long season of interest this as well. It's been flowering for the last probably month and a half this one up here at Grassy Bottom and I'm up on the Lincolnshire Wolds so I'm quite high up. Uh, the other ones I've got as I said are not quite as tall as this this year but they were last year when we when the conditions were spot on for them. So if you're a serious grass collector get yourself at least one million year. Uh, I suggest this one or Undernacea which is the taller variety remember uh, Winspiel. If you want a smaller variety I'll recommend uh, Carulia, Melinia Carulia Torch, which is a nice variety as well. That's a lot smaller, makes, probably makes two and a half foot, and that'll be a lot. It's very upright and straight, and that would be another good choice. And then the other one, the third one that I would go with is, is the one that I just showed you a minute ago, which is uh, Pont de Say. So if you're serious, get yourself this cultivar. Talk to you on the next one. Ta-da!